So what is ITIN and how to apply for ITIN to the IRS? Well, ITIN means Individual Taxpayer Identification Number. This is a federal tax ID. If you are a non-US resident and you don't have an assets and you still want to file for your taxes in US, such as your business taxes, if you have a single member LLC or foreign owned LLC or a multi-member LLC, and the owners of the LLC are living outside the, outside the US, then you must need ITIN for filing for your tax returns. So, so how do we uh, get an ITIN? So first, we have to get the W7 form, which you can download from the IRS official website. Okay, by using that W7 form, you have to fill in that. And after filling that, take your passport, get a scanned copy of your passport and get it signed by a passport officer or Ministry of Foreign Affairs. And then you have to add your US mailing address where you want to receive your ITIN and then add the foreign US address for the application and get your W7 form, get your company documents. Do you have an articles of organization or other documents, get it signed and Using all of these documents, just send it toward, towards the address of an IRS. So what's the address on which we have to send to the ITIN? This is the address on which we have to send our ITIN in IRS. So it usually takes around 12 to 16 weeks to process your ITIN application. Okay, so let's download a W7 form and let's fill it in. So here you can see the W7 form in front of you. So the first step is to click here and click here for the apply for a new ITIN and then add your first name. Let's like say my name is Mohammed and the last name is R-A-F-A-Y Rafe. And then my applicant mailing address where you want to receive your ITIN. Okay, so I'm adding a sample address right here. You can say street 12, main street, comma, and we have to add the city. I'm adding up the city. And state, which you are living in, and a zip code. And if you have a foreign address, you can add up to there. You add your city and state and country. And a postal code. Add your date of birth here. by month, day and year. Okay, so month will be nine. Day will be 29 and year will be this. Country of birth, right here. City, it's optional. Add whether you're male or female. And you don't have to fill in this information. Country of citizenship, if you want, you can add. And if you have any foreign US tax ID, for index ID, you can add that here. And this is not your information, just you have to add your phone number right here, which I am adding. And add the, your name and add your signature here. Okay, so that's all you have to fill in for the application of your W7 form for ITIN and then attach attach your company documents with it and other documents which are relevant such as your passport company documents at w7 form make sure to get your attested passport attested and it must be in english if it's not in if it's not in english then it will be very difficult for the application for your idin okay so that's the case if you have a member single member llc so usually if you fill in that that information that you will get your ITIN in 12 to 16 weeks. But if you're not getting your ITIN from the IRS, you can call them using their website. 
So you can just uh, IRS, you can just search IRS ITIN number calling number. So it will just pop up that it's the number which you can call and get the status of your ITIN. Just like if you don't get your any information about the ITIN on the registered address for your company, then you can call this number and get the status of your ITIN. So it usually takes around 30 to 60 minutes of waiting for the ITIN to process in the United States. Okay, so you can call this number. So uh, let's discuss about the different types of entities and, and their application of the ITIN. So if you have a single member LLC, then you must attach 1040 and R along with your uh, W7 form and other document which I mentioned earlier. So 1040 and R should be prepared as a normal US uh, non-resident. So if you, are, if you are US non-resident and you have to fill in that form. 1040 NR and attached it with W7 form. Okay. And if you have a partnership, then you don't have to fill in any form. Uh, you don't have to fill in 1040 NR. You just have to fill in the W7, get your passport ready, and that's it. And attach your company documents and you can just send it over. So for for if you have a partnership, then instead of selecting this, you have to select this and right here one a partnership exemption okay so that's what you have to write here for the application if you have a partnership registered in united states and you want to get an itin okay so i hope you understand this and if you need any kind of services regarding US tax filing and US tax services or UK tax filing or book giving, I'm all available. I had just mentioned my email address under this video. And if you need any kind of help, I'm all available. So just text me and let's discuss more about your needs. Thank you.